Hey everyone, so today I will be doing a Flintstones pebble hair tutorial. Every time I post a picture up, a lot of people are requesting this tutorial, so I figured I'd do it today. It's something quick and easy. Uh, the only hard part would be the faux bangs, and I'm not going to show you how to do the faux bangs in this video because I already have a tutorial showing you how to do the faux bangs. So if you like to see the faux bangs, just um, I'm, I'll put the link down below, and you can click this link right here, and it'll lead you to the video on how to do faux bangs. And don't get frustrated because it's difficult to try to get them as clean as possible. I had to do them maybe about five to five times just to get them this clean because it was frustrating me. But um, everything else is just curls and, and pinning up at the top, so something quick and easy. And if you're wondering about my lipstick, it's actually um, Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Tars, and it's the anime. And my eyeshadow. The eyeshadow is the Cappuccino palette from CoverGirl. That's the one I use a lot. The glitter is from Eye Candy Cosmetics. What you'll need, again, hairspray, a bristle brush, tons of bobby pins, a curling iron. It can be, I would say, anything smaller than a one inch, just so you can get smaller curls at the top. And this one's a one inch. And just a comb, just to keep everything clean, and a comb to do your faux bangs. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you need to do are your faux bangs and I'm just going to fast forward through this whole section because I do have a tutorial already on how to do faux bangs. Okay, so once you've completed the faux bangs, what you're going to want to do is get a curling iron. So you're just going to want to grab small sections and just curl all the way up. Okay, so you have a nice clean curl like that. And you're going to do that with every strand of your hair. And it's best to grab small sections because you're going to want the curl as clean as possible. You could grab larger ones, but once you pin them up at the top, they won't have as much volume since you're going to have to separate them a little bit, but you still want to keep them clean, not messy. If your hair is tough at keeping curls, what you can do is either after every section spray a little bit of hairspray or wait till you grab a larger amount of curls and just lightly spray them. You don't want to spray too much because you don't want them all sticking together since they will get separated when you have everything up at the top of your hair.
So once you're done, just go ahead and spray a little bit of hairspray. Okay, so now you have all of these curls here. And what you want to do, is you're going to grab all your bobby pins because this is when we're going to pin our hair up. What I like to do is grab these sides first. So just grab a few. You're going to want it as clean as possible. Just grab a bristle brush. and pin it right at the top. So you want it right where the line back here meets where the faux bangs are at. Okay, just gently place this hair on top. And you're gonna do the same with the other side. Clean and fly away. And just fix the top a little. Just spray some hairspray so it stays. You're gonna do that. Grab another few sections. Pull it up from the back. And these you won't need to clean because um, the bottom layer is going to need to be the clean part. But just make sure it's pulled up tight and pin it. And grab the other side and do the same here. And if you have a really heavy hair and you know it's not going to hold with just hairspray, what you can do is just grab some bobby pins and just put, pin down the strands that you think will not stay. Okay? Or just for extra support, you can do that. And then you don't have any moving. I'm gonna grab this back section and do the same. And I'm going to grab my bottom section. This is the section people will be able to see, so you want to make it clean. Just brush back there.
Okay, so now that I've got everything pinned up, what I'm going to do is just kind of mess with the curls and just separate them a little so they get more volume. Just going to keep playing with it, kind of tugging at them. Spray, spray, spray. That's just to dry the hairspray quicker. Okay, so now we have this. Got your curls at the top. And I'm going to grab my bone and I'm going to center it right in the middle. And you have to be very careful because sometimes it can mess up your faux bangs um, because these clips will kind of pull and tug at them. You want to insert it one way and then pull it back the other way. Okay, so just put any finishing touches. And here you go. And I'll show you the back. It's the side. And again, if your hair is too heavy, you can just use bobby pins to make it a bit more secure if you feel like it's going to fall off. But just don't go swinging your hair all over the place because I'm... Pretty sure it'll fall off. And the bonus from Tattooed Zombie Accessories. Hope you like it, everybody. Thank you for watching.